Introduction You will soon be taking the online assessments for English Language Arts, ELA, and Mathematics using a computer or tablet. If you have taken paper and pencil tests in the past, this may be a new experience for you. Embedded Universal Tools and Online Features This training module will help prepare you for using the Embedded Universal Tools and Online Features when taking the online assessments. Embedded means these universal tools and online features are accessed from within the online system. These embedded universal tools and online features will help you do your very best in answering the test questions. When you hear the word tools throughout the module, we are referring to embedded universal tools. When you hear the word features, we are referring to online features that will help you navigate the test system or online features that work with the universal tools. The universal tools and online features that will be covered are available to all students. Note that the pictures shown in this training module may be different from what you will see on your screen during the test. At the end of this training module, you should be able to answer, What embedded universal tools and online features are available to help me do my best on the online assessments? How can I practice using these embedded universal tools and online features before taking the test? Like many software programs, the test comes with a set of embedded universal tools and online features for you to use. For this training, we will use a two-button mouse to demonstrate the embedded universal tools and online features. How you access these embedded universal tools and online features may be different depending on your device. Your teacher can help you become familiar with the device you will be using. You can practice using these embedded universal tools and online features by trying out the practice or training tests. Ask your teacher for more details. There are many embedded universal tools and online features to choose from. However, you probably will not use all of them. Here are some things you need to know about these embedded universal tools and online features. First, know the purpose of each embedded universal tool and online feature. Second, figure out which ones work best for you. And third, for the embedded universal tools and online features you choose to use, know how to find and use them correctly. Only use the tools and features that help you to understand the question, read the text, answer the question. Accessing the embedded universal tools and online features. Accessing the embedded universal tools and online features is easy. You can access the embedded universal tools and online features by using a mouse or keyboard commands. Most of you will be using a mouse with your computer. However, if you usually use keyboard commands, ask your teacher to provide you a copy of the keyboard command chart, which is available in the Test Administrator User Guide. You can access the embedded universal tools and online features in many different ways. Some embedded universal tools and online features appear in the toolbar at the top of the screen, while others may appear above the area where you would type in an answer. Some embedded universal tools and online features appear in a small box when you right-click on that specific question or passage. Other embedded universal tools and online features appear as a small box when you click on a word. And some embedded universal tools and online features appear when you click the context menu icon for a passage or question. Embedded universal tools and online features options may change based on the test or grade level. For example, some mathematics questions may allow a calculator, which of course you will not find on the ELA tests. Embedded Universal Tools Overview The first embedded universal tool is the highlighter, and it works just like a highlighter that you might use in your classes. This embedded universal tool will help you mark important words or text in a passage that you read. To use the highlighter, you will need to use your mouse. Hold down the left button on your mouse at the beginning of the text you want to highlight. While holding down the left mouse button, Move the mouse to the end of the text that you want to highlight and release the left mouse button. Next, within the selected text, right-click and select Highlight Selection. The text you selected is now highlighted and will remain highlighted throughout that segment or section of the test. To undo or remove the highlight, simply click the highlighted text and then right-click and select Reset Highlighting. The highlight is now removed. The next embedded universal tool to help you answer questions is a strikethrough tool. If you're looking at a question with multiple answer choices and you know for certain that one is incorrect, you can strike through that option. It will shade the text for that answer option and show a line through the words to remind you that you do not want to choose that answer option. To use the strikethrough embedded universal tool, 
Use your mouse and right-click on the answer choice you want to cross out. When the pop-up box appears, select Strike Through. That answer choice will now appear shaded with a line through the text. To remove a strike through, right-click the answer option and select Undo Strike Through. The strike through is now removed. Don't forget, you must still select an answer. Another embedded universal tool is the digital notepad. While taking other tests, you may have been allowed to use scratch paper to take notes. You have that same option on this test, only it can be real paper or the online digital notepad within the test. To access the digital notepad, open the context menu for a question and click on the notepad option. When you click on the notepad option, a box will appear where you can type your notes. To close the notepad, click Save and Close. You will be able to see your notes until the test session ends. Notes are not saved when the student moves on to the next segment or after a break of more than 20 minutes. There is a new notepad for each question. For example, if you type notes on question 3, you will only see those notes when working on that question. The next question will show a blank notepad. As long as you have access to the question, you can access your notes by selecting Notepad in the context menu for that question. Notes on the digital notepad are available through the end of the test segment. If you're taking an ELA performance task, you will access your notepad a bit differently. However, once it is accessed, it looks and works the same as the digital notepad. An ELA performance task has the embedded universal tool, Global Notes. This means notes are kept from Part 1 to Part 2, so that a student may go back to the notes for Part 1, even though the student is not able to go back to the three research questions in Part 1. When this is available, there will be a Notes button that appears on the toolbar at the top of the screen. The button looks like a pad of paper and pencil with the word Notes. Global Notes is not available for the mathematics performance task. Students should use scratch paper and or graph paper to take notes. There is an embedded universal tool that may be helpful to keep track of your thinking as you answer the questions. Let's talk about Mark for Review. Mark for Review allows you to mark the question and come back to review it later. If you want to remind yourself to go back to a question, you will open the context menu for a question and select the Mark for Review option. To go back to questions you have marked for review, you can either use the back arrow or the question drop-down list which is an online feature that we will talk about later in this module. Once you have answered the question and no longer want to come back to review it, unmark the question by opening the context menu and selecting the Unmark Review Item option. Another embedded universal tool is Zoom. On the computer, you have the option to change the size of the words and pictures on the screen. The Zoom embedded universal tool is controlled through the Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons that are located at the top of the toolbar on the right-hand side of the screen. To make the words and pictures look bigger, you will click on the Zoom In button at the top right of the toolbar. To make the words and pictures look smaller, click the Zoom Out button. Next, let's talk about the embedded universal tool, Expandable Passages. Next, let's talk about the embedded universal tool, Expandable Passages. The Expandable Passages Embedded Universal Tool expands the width of the passage window to make it easier to read the passage or stimulus. To collapse the passage or stimulus area and return to the regular view, click the double arrow button again. The Calculator is an embedded universal tool that is available to students in grades 6 through 8 and 11 on mathematics questions where a calculator is allowed. When the calculator is allowed, it is displayed as a button on the toolbar on the right side near the zoom buttons. If the question does not allow a calculator, the calculator button will not appear on the toolbar. You're probably familiar with using a calculator. Click on the calculator button to access the calculator. Once clicked, the appropriate calculator will appear for your use. To close the calculator, click the X in the top right-hand corner of the calculator. The Dictionary and Thesaurus is an embedded universal tool that is available for the full right portion, the second part, of the ELA performance task. With this embedded universal tool, you can access a dictionary or thesaurus to view more information about a word. To access this embedded universal tool, simply click on the Dictionary button in the upper right-hand corner. A pop-up will appear that gives you access to both a dictionary and a thesaurus. Type the word you want to use in the blank space and then click either dictionary or thesaurus. The definition for the word will appear if you selected dictionary 
or the synonym will appear if you select a thesaurus. You can switch between the dictionary and thesaurus for the same word by simply selecting the button that corresponds to each. To close the dictionary or thesaurus, click the X in the upper right-hand corner. Sometimes you may be unfamiliar with how a word is used in a particular sentence. In those cases, the test provides an English glossary as an embedded universal tool to give you some additional help to understand that word better. When you see a word surrounded top and bottom by a dotted line, this means there is a definition available for that particular word. You will notice this embedded universal tool is not available for all words. When available, simply place your mouse over the word and it will become blue. Click on the word and a pop-up window will appear with a definition. To close the glossary window, click the X in the upper right-hand corner. The online test comes with the embedded universal tool called Writing Tools, which is similar to many common word processing program functions. For example, bold, italics, underlining, bullets, undo, and redo. Spell check is included where allowed. Writing tools may be available for both mathematics and ELA items where you need to write a response. Before moving on to online features, let's review what you have learned so far by quickly looking at the embedded universal tools we have discussed. Highlighter. Strike through. Digital notepad. Global notes for the ELA performance task. Mark for review. Zoom to enlarge or reduce the text size. Expandable passages. Calculator, which is available for this mathematics item, but is not available for all mathematics items. Dictionary and thesaurus. English glossary. Writing tools. Bold, italics, underlining, bullets, undo, redo, and spell check where allowed. Online features overview. In addition to the embedded universal tools, there are online features that you should also know about. Let's look at the online features on these sample screens. These online features will help you navigate through the test, give you more information, and work in conjunction with the universal tools. The first online feature is the question mark icon. You can click on the question mark icon to view the help guide. An online feature that can be used in conjunction with the embedded universal tool, Mark for Review, is the question drop-down list. This online feature allows you to go back and forth between questions within a segment on a test and shows you questions you've already answered. When you click the drop-down list, questions marked for review will show Mark next to the question number. This will allow you to easily make changes to previously answered questions by taking you directly to the pages containing the marked questions. The Save button. This online feature will appear only for certain item types. For longer responses, make sure to save your answer or writing frequently. The Pause button. This online feature can be used to pause your test for a short break. When you pause your test, a pop-up message will appear asking you to confirm that you want to pause the test. You will be logged out when your test is paused. Some rules apply, so be sure to talk with your test administrator before using the pause button. The item tutorial online feature gives you more direction on what you are to do for a particular item type. Open the context menu for a question and select the tutorial option. Clicking the tutorial online feature will tell you how a particular type of question works. For example, it may inform you how to select an answer, drag and drop answers, or type an answer in a student response answer space. Back and Next. This online feature allows you to click these buttons to move between pages. Lastly, you may have some items that require you to listen to audio. The Listening Item online feature helps with that. To play the audio, click the circle with the right arrow in it. To pause the audio, click the circle with the two vertical lines that appears once the audio clip has started playing. To stop or start the audio clip over, click the left arrow with the line to the left of it. Embedded Universal Tools and Online Features Review These are the Embedded Universal Tools and Online Features available on the test. 
You should familiarize yourself with all the embedded universal tools and online features, but plan on using only the ones with which you are most comfortable or that make the most sense for a particular question. Remember, these embedded universal tools and online features are here to help you answer test questions only. Now that you know about the embedded universal tools and online features available on the online test, you can practice using many of them on the practice test or training test. Ask your teacher how to access these tests. These embedded universal tools and online features have been included in the online assessments to help you do your very best. For more information, please visit www.smarterbalanced.org.